Most people don't know it, but much of what is now downtown Augusta used to be an island of land surrounded by a swamp. The city grew from the dry spot as it expanded out into the marshy areas, they would fill it in with dirt, rocks, whatever they found handy. So it was here, at the bottom of the famous hill, pretty much where Richmond Academy now sits. It all used to be a bit of a bog. And that is the only explanation I have for the great gnat attack of 1907. The Augusta Chronicle reported that summer that hordes of the tiny insects were swarming so heavily that they were stopping streetcars. You know, I could see modern travelers on a trolley being pretty upset about hordes of gnats, but we're talking 1907. Back then, most windows in Augusta, Georgia were open during the summer. For them to be reading about daily gnat and bug alerts in the newspaper, it must have been pretty bad. What happened? I'll tell you about that when we get back. summer of 1907, the Chronicle reported, motormen took drastic measures to fight this plague of gnats. They resorted to closing the windows of the streetcars, something they never do in the summer. And they took other measures as well. Sometimes they even had helpers outside swatting away the insects using bush branches as fans. Maybe that worked. Maybe the weather changed. Maybe the gnats went someplace else. What we do know is that they suddenly seem to go away. You know, here in the summer of 2013, gnats are no longer a problem. A nuisance, maybe, but not a problem. 